You know what's cool about knowing how to code? You can build whatever you want. But the problem for a lot of people is they don't know what to build. I have this problem all the time. I want to program something, but I don't know what. I get that random 3 a.m. motivation where I'm ready to program, but then I just stare at my computer screen and then Google programming project, and then I'm looking at page after page trying to find out what to make, and then I end up on YouTube where I watch top 10 programming projects. Get a job now. <laughs> By the time I think of something, I don't want to code anymore. My motivation's gone and I'm back to watching brain rock content. This kept happening to me until I found this GitHub repo about a year ago and I wish I knew about it earlier. Build your own X, X as in the letter X, not EX. That'd be a little weird. But with today's AI, you could do that too. <sighs> I can see why. It's an amazing GitHub repository. It says right here that it's a compilation of well-written step-by-step guides for recreating our favorite technologies from scratch. Check out how cool some of these projects are. You have a 3D renderer, augmented reality, games, crypto and blockchain so you can make your own disgusting meme coins. And look, you can even make your own terrible JavaScript framework. Wait, wait, wait. Those projects seem hard, Sloth. I only know how to do a for loop from my JavaScript. Sorry about that. To me, that sounded like skill issues. <laughs> no, but seriously though, a lot of you that watch my terrible videos are in fact beginners. So I thought, hey, why don't I create my own programming project video? Totally original. Which is why today I'm here to share Sloth Top uh, 20 Programming Projects. Yeah. I'm gonna list out project ideas that go from beginner, intermediate, advanced, and then 10x developer. I already shared five projects on Slothbytes and gave some reasons. Oh, you don't know what Slothbytes is? Pfft. Slothbytes is a weekly newsletter where I share bite-sized programming information to make you a better programmer. For free! Except for your email. But don't worry about that. And it currently has over 900 subscribers. My goal is to make Slothbytes one of the top newsletters for programming, so <laughs> cough up that email and subscribe right now. Okay, let's start off with number one, a portfolio. Yeah, we're starting really basic, but stay with me now. A portfolio is one of the easiest projects you can do. It's just a place that shows off your work and experience, which means if you're a total beginner, you get to do absolutely nothing because you don't have work experience. You lose. All you really need is HTML and CSS, and those aren't even programming languages. But if you want to get fancy, you can use JavaScript. I'm going to rate the portfolio a 1 out of 10 for difficulty, a 0 out of 10 for resume worthy, because bro, this is basically your resume. I'll give it a 2 out of 10 for learning value because you'll learn the basics of HTML and CSS. And then I'll give it a 3 out of 10 for coolness. It depends on how good you are at styling. Why coolness? Because it's my video. I can do whatever I want. Second project is build your own Git. This is a 10x developer project. Huh? What? You thought these projects were going to be sorted based off difficulty? I already told you this is my video, so I make up the rules. Git is a version control tool that every developer uses, hopefully. It was created by our lord and savior Linus Torvalds. And it basically revolutionized how we manage code. Building your own version of Git will make you learn a lot, like what the heck the Git directory is, Git objects, and more. Plus, you'll get some respect from other programmers for actually knowing how version control works. I'll rate this project a 7 out of 10 for difficulty, a 6 out of 10 for resume worthy, because Jobs really won't care about this too much unless it's an actual engineer reviewing it, but it's still a pretty impressive project. A 9 out of 10 for learning value, because you're going to learn a lot about how Git works, and a 4 out of 10 for coolness, because only programmers will understand how cool it is. Third project is a to-do list app. This is a beginner project and it's as basic as it can get, but hey, it's a start. I might even call this one the hello world of web development projects. If you want to start learning web development, this project's for you. You'll get to learn a lot of the basics for JavaScript or PHP if you use that. Hey, I don't judge. I'll give this project a 2 out of 10 for difficulty, a 2 out of 10 for resume worthy because it's a step up from the portfolio at least, a 4 out of 10 for learning value because you're going to learn fundamental web dev concepts, and a 4 out of 10 for coolness because people love a to-do list. Fourth project is an AI girlfriend or boyfriend. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> With recent improvements of AI, you can take advantage and make this unique project. You can make a website or app that connects to some language model like GPT-4, Gemini, Llama, whatever AIs exist, and then give the AI some prompt to act like the loving partner you wish you had. You can add some AI character that does mouth movements, and then you can add some premium features and BAM, you're rich off of people's loneliness. Good job. <laughs> I'll rate this project a 6 out of 10 for difficulty, a 7 out of 10 for resume worthy, maybe a 10 out of 
10 depending on if the recruiter is lonely. And then I'll give it a six out of 10 for learning value because you'll learn how to make AI apps. And then I'll give it a negative one out of 10 for coolness. I think you know why. Fifth project, a smart mirror. This is an intermediate project where you're gonna build a smart mirror that's gonna display stuff like the weather, the news, your calendar, maybe even add an AI assistant. This project combines both software and hardware. So it's a good project if you like messing around with things like a Raspberry Pi. I'll rate this project a five out of 10 for difficulty, a six out of 10 for resume worthy because it's a pretty unique project that combines hardware and software, an eight out of 10 for learning value because you get to learn how to integrate hardware and software, and a 10 out of 10 for coolness because it's a smart mirror that you made. That's pretty cool. Project number six, a personal finance tracker. This is an intermediate project that's gonna track your expenses and then you can use some chart library to visualize it. You can turn this project into an advanced one if you integrate a third party like Plaid to get actual banking information. I'll rate this project a four out of 10 for difficulty, a five out of 10 if you use Plaid, and then I'll give it a five out of 10 for resume worthy because it shows you know how to visualize data with graphs and charts and the business world loves graphs and charts. I'll give it a five out of 10 for learning value because you'll get to learn a lot about data visualization. And then I'll give it a five out of 10 for coolness. Maybe an eight out of 10 for the finance bros. Project number seven, a calculator. This is another classic beginner project to teach you the fundamentals. And it's pretty straightforward. Add stuff, subtract stuff, multiply stuff, divide stuff. You get the point. You can make it more challenging by adding stuff like exponents, sine, cosine, negative numbers, really whatever you want to add. I'll give this project a two out of 10 for difficulty, a two out of 10 for resume worthy. It's a calculator, not rocket science. Nobody's going to care. Three out of 10 for learning value because you'll still learn some fundamentals. And then I'll give it a two out of 10 for coolness. It's something. These ratings are honestly useless because they're just random numbers. Like project number eight, build your own neural network. This is an advanced project. And I mentioned this one in Sloth Bytes. Oh, you don't know what Sloth Bytes is? If you want to go into machine learning or AI, neural networks are a must know. So building your own is a really good way to understand how most of these fancy AIs work. And bonus points if you do it from scratch without any libraries because the math for concepts like back propagation is, um, yeah. I'll give this project a seven out of 10 for difficulty, a four out of 10 for resume worthy, because unfortunately not many people care if you do this, unless you're like in your first year of college. I'll give it a nine out of 10 for learning value. It's painful, but you'll have a really good understanding for popular AI technology. And then I'll give it a nine out of 10 for coolness, because you can basically say I made my own AI and that's pretty cool. Project number nine, a real time chat application. This is an intermediate project and sure there's plenty of chat applications out there but you didn't make them making this app is a pretty good project to learn about real-time tools like websockets and it's a pretty good project that'll take you from beginner to intermediate because it has all the parts a front end a back end a database and now websockets i'll give this project a four out of ten for difficulty a five out of ten for resume worthy it's surprisingly a good resume project for how common it is a seven out of ten for learning value because you get to learn about how real-time stuff works and then i'll give it a seven out of ten for coolness because real time is pretty sweet and satisfying. Project number 10, build your own Redis. This is another 10x developer project. Redis is an in-memory database, which means it mainly uses your computer's RAM. So you'll basically be building your own database. Yeah, that's 10x developer worthy, but it'll be really difficult. Building your own Redis from scratch will really give you a deep dive on how complex databases are. I'll give this project a nine out of 10 for difficulty, an eight out of 10 for resume worthy. It's pretty impressive. A 10 out of 10 for learning value, you'll have a deep understanding of Redis and databases. And then I'll give it a five out of 10 for coolness because it's another project that only programmers will care about. And you know what's pretty cool? Remember that build your own X repo I mentioned? If you look right there, you'll see this thing called build your own Redis. Wow, I wonder where I got this idea. So if you click it, you'll get sent to a website called Code Crafters. Code Crafters is an amazing website that'll guide you through these complex projects. And they were kind enough to sponsor this video. Their goal is to help programmers by providing a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to start complex projects. And these guides were created by experienced engineers that are probably smarter than you and me, but you'll still have to figure out the code itself, which ensures you don't get stuck in tutorial hell. You can build your own Redis, Git, Docker, SQLite, and a lot of other technologies from scratch. These are all 10x developer level projects, and they'll guide you through every step of the way, which will make you an amazing programmer. You'll gain a deep understanding for each of the technologies because they'll also teach you the fundamental concepts that made these technologies possible. Not only that, but every month they make multiple projects free so you can check it out and see if you like it. I highly recommend Code Crafters and if you want to tackle these advanced projects and become a 10x developer click the link in the description and you'll get 40% off. You're welcome. All right project number 11 a random quote generator. This is a 
really simple program where it's just going to display a random quote when something happens or when the page loads. Um, you can use this project to learn all about APIs by finding a quote API and then just simply fetching a quote from it. Pretty simple. I'll rate this project a one out of 10 for difficulty, a two out of 10 for resume worthy. I mean, it shows you know what an API is and then a learning value of three out of 10 because APIs are pretty important and then a three out of 10 for coolness because some quotes are pretty inspiring. Project number 12, an algorithm visualizer. This is an advanced project and it's also a two for one. You get to learn data structures and algorithms, which are important for interviews and you get to make a project for your resume. Honestly, if you make this project, you'll know data structures and algorithms better than if you just spam the hundred lead code problems. I'll give this project a seven out of 10 for difficulty. You will need to know data structures and algorithms and eight out of 10 for resume worthy. It's a project that's all about technical skills. So yeah, I think it'll look good. A 10 out of 10 for learning value, data structures, algorithms, and practical programming skills. It's perfect. And then a two out of 10 for coolness. Only programmers will understand how cool it is. Project number 13, a travel booking system. This is an intermediate project where you'll make a program where users can search for flights, book hotels, plan trips. And this project is not that bad if you use an API to get the information. All you would have to do now is add functionality like searching, booking, and planning using the API. So you'd basically just do a lot of CRUD methods. I'll rate this project a four out of 10 for difficulty, a seven out of 10 for resume worthy. It's honestly a pretty good project and I don't think it's that common. I could be wrong on that, but all these ratings are terrible. So <laughs> a seven out of 10 for coolness, only if it helps you plan your next vacation. And then a six out of 10 for learning values. You'll get to learn how to integrate APIs and then CRUD methods. Project number 14, a quiz program. This is a beginner project where you create a quiz program where users can create multiple choice questions and then answer them. And then they'll get their score at the end. Not too bad. I rate this project a two out of 10 for difficulty, a one out of 10 for resume worthy, two out of 10 for learning value, and a one out of 10 for coolness because it's a quiz. Now nah, these ratings are absolutely useless. <laughs> project number 15, build your own BitTorrent. This is a 10 next developer project. You know, Code Crafters offers this project too. And if you click the link in the description, <laughs> BitTorrent is a communication protocol for file sharing, and it's used for distributing large amounts of data. By making your own BitTorrent, you'll get to learn about the BitTorrent protocol, torrent files, and more. It's a pretty interesting project because you get to learn how we can download things like videos, games, really just any large file. And if you've been on the internet long enough, you've probably already used BitTorrent before for um, <clears throat> reasons. I'll rate this project um, an eight out of 10 for difficulty. Uh, um, a seven out of 10 for resume worthy, a 10 out of 10 for learning value, I guess a five out of 10 for coolness for uh, reasons. Project number 16, an HTTP server. This is an intermediate project that will really teach you a lot about how the web works. You'll learn a lot about TCP connections, HTTP headers, HTTP verbs, handling multiple connections, and more. I'll rate this project a five out of 10 for difficulty, a four out of 10 for resume worthy, a seven out of 10 for learning value. You'll get to learn a lot about how the internet works. And then an eight out of 10 for coolness because telling people you built a web server makes you sound like a hacker. Project number 17, a real-time editor. This is a pretty advanced project where you're going to build your own version of Google Docs or Notion, where you're going to have features like real-time collaboration, sharing, user permissions, version history for the documents, and the list goes on. I'll rate this project an 8 out of 10 for difficulty, a 9 out of 10 for resume worthy. Real-time features are pretty impressive, a 10 out of 10 for coolness, especially if you can handle multiple users without any problems, and then a 10 out of 10 for learning value. You'll get to learn a lot about web development and real-time stuff. Project number 18, a chatbot. This is a beginner to interview media project where you can make a bot on platforms like Discord, WhatsApp, Telegram, Slack, or really any other messaging platform. And it's a pretty good project because you get to understand the platform's API, handling user input to create certain commands, and a lot more. I'll rate this project a difficulty of 4 out of 10, a 6 out of 10 for resume worthy, an 8 out of 10 for learning value, and then a 7 out of 10 for coolness. Project number 19, a video game. This project could be intermediate to advanced, and making a video game has its own unique set of skills, like handling game logic, physics, physics, game state, and a lot of other weird things you wouldn't expect. Plus, it's really fun. So I'll rate this project a 7 out of 10. I can't rate this one for resume worthy. It really depends on what you're applying for. I'll give it a 9 out of 10 for learning value and then an 11 out of 10 for coolness because video games are awesome. And now for the final project, project number 20, a QR code generator. I'll end it off with this beginner project where all you have to do is turn something into a QR code. I'll rate this project a 2 out of 10 for difficulty, a 2 out of 10 for resume worthy, a 2 out of 10 for learning value, and then a 12 out of 10 for coolness because you can make QR codes like this. I hope these project ideas help your skill issues and I'll see you all in the next video.